quick unboxing of the AOC 22 LCD monitor. Well, um, left to me, I think uh, they might be better ones now, but let's open it. No prejudice. Come on, let's go. 22 inches. Um, well, open it. So that's what you go. Have that. Quick instructions here of how you do it, which is good. Um, as one of the tests of putting things together is the simplicity and intuition. Um, if you should be, if you can do them without reading the instruction, that's really great. Okay, some paper. Uh, that's that. Uh, can I do one hand? Maybe I can try. Ooh, and that's that. Hold on, I need to be careful here. Okay, box is empty. that to plug it in really oh, okay that's that that's that so where's the screen oh the screen is inside oh, good packaging though mm -hmm. that won't that won't break easily and that's a 22 inch screen um you've got hmdi you've got the normal blue one which i can tell What's this? Don't tell me. That's that. Okay. Things going in here. All right. Let's take it out. Okay. There you go. It's um, it's a matte black, so it's not reflective. I'm actually in like the sun here, and that's what you get. It's not reflective matte black, which is good sometimes, depending on where you're working. There's all the buttons there. Okay, let's put it together quickly, guys. Let's do it quick together. But that's what's in the box, guys. So, oh, you got to that. Powerful, good, good packaging. You have to give that to them. Um, power cable. And this one here, which I still don't know why. So it looks like you can't plug it in. You have to plug it in through this, which I don't like really. Oh, it's just an option. That's it. I see. I think yeah, that's that's where it is. That's where it goes in there. Wow, interesting. Okay. And that's the stand. And that's the stem. Don't like that cable for. That's another power cable. Interesting. All right, let's put it together, guys. Let's put it together. But that's how you get from this. So really, it is easy to put on, guys, I'm guessing. Because these are the three things you need to put on the stand. So you've got the stem. You've got the base. So that goes into it and that goes into the back of the monitor. So probably something like this. Let's see which one is front and back. I'm guessing the one with that'll be front. That'll go in that way. Let me just put so, you can see here that's like a um, peg hole and underneath there that needs to get into it so you don't need to be getting which way is front or back just put that in here align this side to it and push it in hit that click that's it that's done uh, and then this goes to the back of it so one of the disadvantages i'm seeing straight away is you won't be able to adjust the height of this monitor which is a bit minus for me i think you should be able to go up and down um i have a different monitor and it, it can go up and down but this is not one of them okay let's see let's put this to the back of okay it. guys so i'm just gonna put this in and um, so far no screws nothing <laughs> and they're looking good so okay as you can see you've got like some wings here and um, if i'm looking at this one it needs to just go through that place just slide through so if I put it down like this uh, and I just try and slide that in. I think that's it. Really? Yeah, that's it guys, that's it. <laughs> set it up already, that's it. All done, all set up. 
it's really easy and let me do let me do the test oh look guys upside down test holds so that's all done and you go and pick it out i think say press that it's going to come out i'm not going to do it so that's all done guys really really easy and intuitive um okay let's put the power on you've got this brake like you're actually powering in a laptop on itself which is different to me i'm used to just plugging the power directly into the monitor but this one wants you to plug it into this brake which is like a dc converted thing and then to the monitor um strange i don't know the reason why but you know i don't know I'm not like an expert or anything so plug that in and then that goes into the back of it you know don't know what that's called but you guys know you've seen this before okay let me okay do that. that's ready to be plugged in so you've got this brake which is a shame for me um and then it goes in there i don't know personally just aesthetically not knowing what it functions are or anything i wouldn't really like that reason being um that's additional cable cable management you've got another brake that you have to hide or anything i just love a single cable but we are where we are so that can go in but that's how it goes in uh, so let's look at this does it flex okay okay so well that's good actually so if you have it you can tilt it tilts there's no up and down movement but you can tilt it forward and backward see that can go forward you can tilt the screen and that's it but you can adjust the height the height is the height and that, that's a short stem so if you're one that you want to put it on top maybe on your laptop i think that's a no-no unless you can put it on like some books or some boxes somewhere and then that will help uh, but apart from that it's all right it will see uh, let's go and plug in and see how it works all right guys this is my setup so this is my work desk a little bit dirty but don't mind but here you go this is the new additional one it's my main one like i can say it. look at look at the stem on there the distance look at the base so this one is a pink mission um considerably more expensive uh there's a video which uh, in my channel where you can see the unboxing of this one okay. so that's it big this one tilts everywhere left you can tilt left you can tilt right it can tilt up and down so with this this has one motion and if i'm going to use that i need to put something under it there because i don't want the laptop imagine your laptop is here so imagine you have your laptop and it opens up that could be blocking it should be opened up so um when i use that i'll let you know i would definitely know it's not going to be as good as this one because the price difference uh, but it's a good addition if you need it um so like and subscribe I'm going to do a quick um, comparison. Like and subscribe, guys. Thank you. Like and subscribe uh, for more of this. Uh, and if you have more tips, let me know. Uh, that's my headphone there. It charges via that um, wireless charger there. I'm going to do, I think I did a review on this one. You have it there. And I will tell you how that's also going. But that's the workbank here. Like and subscribe.